So Armenians were always fascinated with this idea of the Adam skull being beneath Christ's cross. And so Armenian iconographers often portray the crucifixion like this, not always, but often. This is a painting by Todos Roslin. Unfortunately, it's a little dark, but if you look down below the cross, you see there's a triangle of rock, white rock, and nestled in the middle of the rock is a skull. You see it? Here's another one. This is the Malatya gospel from the 13th century. And it makes the cave and the head under the cross clearer. You can really see that there's this little hill, there's a little cave, and inside the cave is a skull. And Jesus's cross is standing directly above that spot. In the 14th century, this 14th century gospel from the monastery of Datev, the head of Adam is really visible. It's like a brighter white amid the kind of reddish rock. And there it is just nestled below the foot of the cross. And Mary and John can't see it, but they're looking down almost directly at it. It's there too, much bigger in this case, in this illumination from Nachichevan, the beginning of the 14th century. And the artist here wants you to really notice that head. It's important to him. It's much bigger than it is in any of the other copies that we've seen. And if you look at that head, you can see that it sticks out of the frame of the illumination. Very often in illuminations, what sticks out of the frame is sticking out into our space. What's within the frame is the divine story. And so what sticks out into, the, into our space is the bottom of that skull, making you think that this painter wants us to identify with the skull. We are all children of Adam. We will all die. We will all be in this position. And then here's this later gospel, which keeps the head of Adam there, but makes it a little bit more subtle. And look at what happens right around that head. Can you see the details? You can see that the head of Adam under the foot of the cross is pink. And then around it are all these little green blue things. <laughs> What are they? They're other heads. They're other people. All of the children of Adam who have since died for this painter are included with the head of Adam at the foot of the cross. And this iconography isn't only found in illuminations. Some of you have seen this before. I really, really like this Khachkar from Hovana Vank. And it takes to new heights the significance of the juxtaposition of Christ and the cross with Adam. The head of Adam, you can see, is below the cross. Above the cross, the top of the cross, is the head of Christ. And in this depiction, his body has actually become the cross, has actually become the cross that joins the first and the second Adam inseparably. 
and by extension, wherever the children of Adam experience death, there the cross is planted. Wherever the gates of hell would be expected to prevail, there the door of paradise opens. The real Golgotha, in other words, can be seen wherever human death is found. The link forged by God between death and life always holds. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. One way then to look at the real Golgotha is as a part of our human experience of death. 